I try to live a little better if I had it to do over. You mean back a long time ago, or? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. It wasn't anything. I thought, part of the time I thought I was doing good, but I can see some, you know, mistakes that I made. What do you tell the people who are, if someone were to come to you and say they're really discouraged and they can't seem to get going and mm -hmm. they just seem to be really, you know, just discouraged all the time, what would you say to someone like that? I, I, I tell them to depend on the Lord. Mm. He can change things. Good advice. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, Nothing else works as well. There was, there was a man who was eating at a place, and they found out I was 104 years old. He said, "I never seen a man 104 years old." <laughs> <laughs> and, and he said, "Tell us." He said, "Hey, y'all, the customers." Here's a man 104 years old It just was eating with us. Of course, all the customers are looking at me, you know, <laughs> see, what I, see what I look like. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he said, tell them, tell them you what, what your secret for a long life. Yeah. And, and I told him, I, I said, I, I said, I couldn't, I couldn't add another day to it, much less a year, but the Lord can add, That's right. the Lord can add it. That's right. And I said, he's, he's the one that adds years to it. I might <laughs> take some away, <laughs> but I sure, <laughs> I, 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 I sure couldn't add, I couldn't add any. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, we, we went to some uh, restaurant, it may have been up in Avenger, remember when we went was that your birthday or or something? We when we went and ate at that place in Avenger and and they found out you was 104 and yeah. and one of the ladies that worked there came over and said, "What? What's you're 104? What's what's the secret? Good, like a rock good scotch? Good scotch? <laughs> oh, good scotch? Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I sure couldn't add any to it. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Did you ever think you'd live to be 104, 105? No, or? I didn't. Wow, that's amazing. I no never, one ever thinks that. I never thought I'd. <laughs> How do people usually react when they hear you're 104? Well. Yeah. <laughs> 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 They're kind of amazed? Yeah, they are. I <laughs> like them. At the next, next table, they one them. They were amazed. Uh, they were. They said, you're so strong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they all stood right. It's like we'd said the president was here. May as well yeah. have. I mean, That's they just right. got up and they were like, whoa. You know? yeah. <laughs> that was and I met, I met George Bush. Did you really? Did you? Uh -huh. Where? I sure did. did. The older one or the, the younger one? one? Younger Where? one. Where? Woo. I met him. Where was he? Where did you? Been Marshall. Oh, oh really? Uh-huh. Now he he hadn't gotten into politics, of course he's running. You know that's what he's down there for. <laughs> oh, but but hadn't wanted it yet, huh? Yeah, of course he uh, he hadn't announced that he's running. Oh, but he was with, <coughs> he was with another politician, and that's what he was doing. You know. I see. Wow, that was a people. while ago. But what'd you think of him? I thought he was a nice guy. Uh -huh. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. I thought he was a nice guy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Have you met any any other presidents or no? no. Um, Claire and I, Claire and I met him, mm. and I, I know we were down there for the for the other man that was in politics. But George Bush was down there, and he was in a room by himself. And I said, "You only going in? You only going in?" His daddy had been president. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and. I said, you only went in and see him? Yeah. Of course, the only thing I suggested yeah. at that time, you know, mm -hmm. she was willing to do it. So we went on in and 
times. <laughs> so you talk to him for a while, you know. Wow. Good talker. Yeah. Yeah. What, uh, do you remember where you were when you heard about Pearl Harbor? Uh, 41. 41? That was when his daddy died, though. Oh. Yeah, 41. It was, yeah, in 41. Really? Uh -huh. Didn't he die on Pearl Harbor Day or the day before? I don't remember exactly. It was about the same time. So wow. it was, what was it, December 4th? December 7th. December 7th? Wow. Yeah. Uh, he, uh, seemed like he he either died on Pearl Harbor Day or the, so that probably overshadowed yeah. it. But, oh, yeah. Wow. Wow. Uh, it was close to, I know it was close to them. Wow. I think I remember Mama telling me that now. Uh, yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think. Was he at home or in Shreveport? He was at home. Home. Mm. Mom, can you think of anything else? No. I'm tell, tell us about when your daddy was young and, and he pulled that prank with the bees on the, at the black church. No, no. <laughs> what? From the black church? <laughs> What? <laughs> was he a French sir? He was, wasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yellow jackets. It was yellow jackets? Oh yeah. my. It was yellow jackets. What? They, they had caught them <clears throat> in a jug. You can stir up a nest. I, I, when I was growing up, we'd catch them like that. Take a jug, dark jug, and set it by the nest, and then stir it up. <laughs> then they'll come out. Pour some water in that jug. So if they get go in there, they can't get out. You know they can't fly if they're wet. <laughs> and we put that water in the jug, set it right by the nest, and then stir it up. Boy, they come out. But when, when they settle back down, there's, that's the first hole it sees that opening of the jug. They go in that jug and settle the nest. Wow. Whoa. And most of them would. We stir it up again. Best of them would come out. Pretty soon we had all the yellow jackets in the, <laughs> in the jug. We put a stop on it. But they took it to a black church and they always kept the windows up during that time. Yep. So they just pull the, pull the lid off, get up close to the window. Pull the lid off, and they go to the light. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh! gosh. We were all you, ran out of church, I bet. Uh, were you a Were you a troublemaker as a kid? And one <laughs> one moment, again, Holly, you know something other, and this time thought she was getting a getting a the spirit. <laughs> oh, oh, hallelujah! Oh no, my. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's going to happen the rest of the night. started hauling, and the whole, the whole bunch of yellow jackets, they, they, they broke up. The <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, well, what a story. Well, they were gone by that time, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, a lot of people today have a hard time getting old. They no. don't like it. No. They uh -huh. hate it. They try to rebel against it. I mean, what would you say to those people, you know, about the about getting older? I mean, a lot of people just hate it. Well, I, I look at it as a blessing. A lot of people don't get older. <laughs> yeah. And and what are they going to do if you, if you don't get older? You, you die. You're going to die. Yeah, that's right. Hmm. Do you think it's hard getting older? Well, it wasn't for me because I realized that the consequences if you don't get older. <laughs> <laughs> the alternative. <laughs> oh my, that doesn't comfort me somehow. It it has some disadvantages, but but it has some advantages too. What's the oh, advantages? Yeah. <laughs> well. Hmm. Just like how many more. And advantages that you realize you're here, how the Lord blessed you, give you some more days 
a year. And we can't do it ourselves. So it's bound to be him that gives us the years. Mm -hmm. So you become more appreciative. Yeah, uh huh. Mm -hmm. It just seems like everybody hates it. Mm -hmm. I know it. And and yet, and yet it. I've, I've heard them tell me, isn't it bad, isn't it bad to get old? And and I, I couldn't look at it like that. What do you tell them when they say that? Is it bad to get old? Well, well I, I tell them, if you look at it, it's a blessing to, <laughs> to get old. Because otherwise you, you're gone. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. There's so many things that you can't do anymore. Yeah, that's you true. know, and so many things you wanted to do and you uh -huh. didn't get to do because you're old now. But there's there's other things you can do. Mm -hmm. I haven't found she that. She doesn't either. like it at all. She <laughs> doesn't like getting older at no. all. Well, you can't do the things I used to do. I don't like it either. <laughs> well, it's like Mama says, you don't know nothing. Yeah. And Sybil <laughs> used to tell her that you don't know. Yeah. Getting old because yeah. she was but, older. <laughs> but, oh my. But look at the blessings that the Lord's yeah. giving you, letting you get old. Mm -hmm. I guess. <laughs> she don't like it at all. You know. <laughs> no, nope, have to fight it all the time. Yeah. No need to, I guess. But Well. Look at the consequences if you don't get old. Huh? The consequences if you Oh yeah. Old. I know that. The alternative the, is the alternative. Yep. That's true. That's yeah. right. I gotta think about that more. Yeah, you get to see your children grow up. Have your children grow up. Yep. You get to see your yeah. grandchildren, uh -huh. great grandchildren. Yeah. Uh -huh. You get to see how the it, world has changed it, a lot. It's, it's That's a, true. It's a blessing, you know. And yes, you don't have to work anymore. No, that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. That's a real good thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Tell tell about the story when uh, John Hall switched all the babies. <laughs> Wait, what? He switched all the babies at church. Switched all of them. <laughs> uh, what? What? <laughs> switched the babies yeah. at birth. At church. Went to church and wagons. Back there, of course, wasn't any cars. They went to church in the wagons, and when the kids would go to sleep in the church, they came out to the wagon. Yeah, I remember put that. Put them asleep. <coughs> so the boys decided that they switched the kids. They switched the kids from the wagon to wagon, <laughs> and nobody looked at them. You know, oh. when, they, when they come out of the church, they went on home. <laughs> Was that at night? Uh huh. And got home and and they had the wrong kids. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> who, who did that? Who did it? John Hall. Yeah. Granddaddy. Granddaddy Hall. Uh, what? When he when he was a a teenager or yeah. something. Oh, Mama yeah. And I just yeah. 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 He switched. <laughs> oh, yep. Oh, I thought you meant he switched them with a switch. No, no. You're talking he about swapped he them out. He swapped oh, them out. So they got home and got out of the wagon as a different oh, kid. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, you get home and... Yeah. <laughs> this is not our baby. <laughs> they had the wrong kids. Uh, a strange yeah. thing. Did he, he ever confess that he did it? Oh, yeah. he did. Of course. I bet his dad really... They had telephones back there, I, I guess. Then, you know, that... They didn't have cell phones, but... No. <laughs> no. Oh, they boy. Oh my goodness. They finally found out. <laughs> Jim sent a video. Took them all, all night. Hope your interview's going yeah. well. There's Enjoy Jim. Your mom came down there. Hopefully I'll be able to come down there pretty soon and see what's going on. We'll go to lunch and go to dinner and hang out for a little bit. So you guys have fun tonight. I got to head to a dinner for work. See you later. Bye. Yeah, <laughs> he works Jim. a lot. Probably couldn't hear it. That's Jim it, saying he hopes to come and yeah. see you soon and have a good time. Yeah, yeah too. He yeah. works 12 hours a day. He does. Day. He works a lot. He yeah. does. He does. But he takes those kids somewhere all the time for yeah. sports. He's a good dad. He's yeah, a real good dad. He's a good dad yeah. to those kids. Did he go to uh, Dallas yesterday? Yeah, yeah. And they Whoops. won? They won. Yeah. And he went time. to... He took his son to play football in Dallas last night and then went back home. Was it, a, it wasn't at the Cotton Bowl. No. no. It was at one of the high schools. Yeah, yeah. probably. Yeah. But 
But they won the first time since what? Second time. Oh, second yeah. time. Wow. But he's a good man, I tell you. He, he is, is really he is good. a hard worker. He loves kids, yeah. that's for sure. He's a hard he's worker. A and his kids are very respectful. Uh -huh. They are. They're good he's kids. Good, good Christian kids, they are. too. Very good. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. Mm -hmm. What's the what's the funniest thing you've ever done? Have you pulled pranks? You look like a prankster. <laughs> <laughs> Did, didn't you used to get Papa Ellie in trouble? Yes, he did. <laughs> I heard those no. stories. I know. Look at the guilt. Yeah. <laughs> get who in trouble? Daddy. Papa Ellie. Daddy. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I get all of them in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See? Oh yeah. my. You look like a prankster. Well. Yeah, I was a prank <laughs> I don't think um, Granddaddy Hopkins was as close to Daddy as he was maybe to you, eh? Because Daddy was always saying he was always whipping him or beating him or punishing him or uh, something. And I thought, why? Daddy had a real mild personality. Good girl.